Hey, what's going on? Coach McCants, Profile Performance, Dot Fit, and Team Beachbody Coach. What I'm here to talk about today is message to the parents and for those who do speed camps and I want my son or my daughter to get faster. What I tell all my clients and all my parents of my athletes, there's <clears throat> three things that can't be taught. Size, speed, and talent. So let's go with size. Let's presume that you're in a basketball gym and you see someone who walks in that is seven feet tall. You're going to assume that they know how to make a layup. They may not be the greatest basketball player, but most of the time you're going to assume that they can play basketball. Now, the funny part is, when people do that, the first thing, a lot of them don't play. Because guess what? That size can't be taught. But I guarantee you, it's a possibility somebody seven feet could definitely get an easy scholarship. Because from a coach's perspective, I can't teach seven feet. I can teach seven feet how to make a layup. I can teach seven feet how to run. And that goes for many other sports, football. You get a guy 6'3", 300 pounds, uh, he just may be able to play football. I can teach him how to block. I can teach him how to tackle. But I can't teach 6'3", 300 pounds. So, size. So, for, you have, for those who have certain natural athletic abilities, D1 may not always be the best choice or the best option. Just for instance, myself, uh, a lot of guys that I graduated with or graduated behind me went to big Division I schools. University of Maryland, Wake Forest, Harvard, Navy, Colgate. But somehow the little guy from out of Delaware State made it to the pro level. So don't bank all your put all put put all your all, all your eggs in one basket of saying, okay, my kid should be D1. I try to encourage everybody to work on getting a free education. Whatever it is, however, and by any means necessary. The way I was taught was use your body as a tool to go to school. So that's kind of my motto and what I try to teach my athletes and the people that are around me um, that, you know, are encouraged by what I say and what I've done, um, you know, being a pro athlete. So, once again, if your kid is in D1 size, that's okay. Let's look at a free education. They may be able to go D3. It's some awesome D3 schools out there that have great education programs. So don't let that go by the wayside of trying to push your kid or push your, you know, your athlete to the D1 level if they really don't have that ability or the size one. So what I said, size, speed. Speed. Let's go to speed. A lot of people see these speed camps. Oh, yeah, we can get you faster, this, that, and other. Now, speed is genetic. Let's make the, it's, 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 it's genetics. You have slow twitch and fast twitch fibers in your body. Just for instance, let's make it cultural, let's make it racial. If we look at the Olympics, because the Olympics are coming up, who are in the sprints? Generally the black, the African guys, Haitians, Jamaicans. Then you look at who is doing the marathon type distances. It's genetics. So, it's either you fast or you aren't. It's just that simple. So, you can build speed by technique and strength. You will get faster. But if you could truly teach speed, everybody in the NFL would run a 4-1. In reality, you may come down a couple tenths or hundreds of a tenth, something like that. Not good with the numbers. I had to see it. Because when I first ran my 40, I was a senior in the grass with all my equipment on. I ran a 4.8. Now, have you? I've never been caught on film. But when I got to college, I ran a 4.5. And when the pros came to look at me, I ran a 4.41. 
and my fastest time unofficially was 438. So, that's natural. It's fast. My little brother, he didn't work out for two years. He comes back to get a scholarship. He still ran like a 10 8. So, it's, it's natural. It's cultural. It's, it's genetics. All right, so size we covered. Speed, like I say, you don't spend a lot of money on these camps. Understand technique, strength, um, and form, and you will get faster. You, it, it's inevitable. Even if you get stronger without the proper form, you'll get faster. Talent. Those who've been around talent, those who can see it, who've coached it, no talent when they see it. I can see an athlete at the age of two. Certain things, certain movements, natural balance, uh, natural skill set that people who have talent, it's, it's just natural. That kid that was probably the most, you know, rambunctious kid that could jump and flip all over the place on the playground most likely ended up being an athlete if they stayed on the right path once again I'm going to start to believe that's almost genetic as well but then again I've met some IT guys who have some athletic kids and they may be part of the, the bloodline of their mother but um, you can't teach it when you have the what I call the it factor everybody can see it Certain things just can't be taught. No matter what they do, they may look bad in practice, they may not be able to do a drill, but when it comes to game time, they're always the star, even if they're not trying. Well, I just had, a, you know, to them, it'll be a decent game. To the average person who's watching, it'll be awesome game. That's talent. So, for the future, for my parents, for those who have athletes, Size, speed, and talent can't be taught. I can get you faster through form, technique, and strength. I can't make you grow. The doctor can't tell you because the doctor can't tell you your hormones. When your hormones will stop and kick in and when they're going to uh, do whatever hormones do. I grew approximately up to my 21st birthday. My 21st birthday, everybody, I came into the facility at Redskin Park. They were like, hey, man, you look taller. And I'm thinking everybody's joking because most people knew it was my birthday. I had grown an inch and three quarters. So I'm technically six, three and three quarters. My dad is six, one, six, two. His dad is five, five. <laughs> my grandfather's. So let's get the free education. Whatever the size, whatever the speed, whatever the talent level is, you can train it. Get it better. Home in on those skills and techniques of whatever sport. Go for the free education. I see a lot of guys going for this D1 and I gotta go here, I gotta go here. Yeah, okay. Free education will pay off. It's a 0.5% of all collegiate athletes that go to the pro level. And that's why I love the NCAA statement of majority of us will go pro at something else other than sports. But Harvard has proven that most athletes are more successful than the average person. So I'm going to leave it at that before I start going off on a tangent about how athletes are the greatest people on earth. Yeah. But that's just close to me. That's just how I feel about the situation. You know, we need your IT guys too. Y'all smarty art people. But athletes rule. All right. Keep leaving questions. I got answers. Um, I'm going to keep giving you my opinion. Coach McCann's Pro Pop Points.